is lesson 101. So we, we, we broke the house entry and we're off again. Uh, today's picture I want to do for you is, is a place called Wadi Rum, and that is in uh, Aqaba in Jordan. Uh, I went on a trip on from a cruise ship to here and uh, it, it's quite interesting, a really interesting in fact. Uh, the colours we're going to use today are the Windsor Blue Red Shade, the Burnt Sienna, Raw Sienna and Burnt Umber. So let, let's get started and, and we'll get them colours out of the way and then we can, we can progress. So here's our little picture. In the front is a, is a, a Bedouin tent with three Ar Arab gentlemen there and a bit of a, a, a sort of a windbreak in the front and then it, there's some rocks in the back or, or mountains the, the, it's, it's, it's all part of this uh, these pillars of wisdom this uh, it's uh, Lawrence, you remember Lawrence of Arabia well this is the seven pillars of wisdom and Wadi Rum and all this and uh, it's, it's, it's quite an interesting place it really is so let, let, let's get cracking and see where we, we go for it Obviously, start with the sky at the top. It's a clear blue sky, as it happens. Eventually. I'll tell you about it in a minute. This is clean water. Yes, it's... Uh, the, 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 apparently, in, in Aqaba, the, the, they have two days rain a year, and we pick one of them. And uh, it, it wasn't so good to start with, but it be, the, the sky cleared up later. But it, it caused one or two problems to start with. But, but we had a really good day. Just trying to avoid the rocks here. Take the sky down to there. There's clean water, this folks. And by the way, while I'm talking, uh, I've, I've masked out the, the three gentlemen stood by the tent. And also one or two of the guy ropes holding the, the holding the bedroom tent up. So it's that's what you can see. Right, there's a lot of gathering of water in the bottom here, which I don't want. Right, let's put a winter blue red shade on this. Start at the top. Nice, nice, lovely blue this, by the way. And then as, I'm just putting no more paint on there because as it comes down, I want to sort of weakness as it goes in the distance. I'm just going to put an undercoat on this of, uh, of raw sienna because it's it's a it's a lovely colour, and uh, it's 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 a base colour for, for the all the front of the the picture. Raw sienna, nice transparent colour, over the mountains. Trying to be careful where the sky is. Don't worry about the, the tent, it'll, uh, it's going to be dark at the tent, but I want to try and get most of this, this stuff in as a base colour. I don't know what's happening in the sky, but, but we're stuck with it, folks. So, uh, all these things that are happening, everything happens at once in this place. I 
dried it, and what's happened is it's pushed it back into the, into the top there. I might have a look at it later, see if, I can, see if I can do something with it. We will see. This is this is the beauty of uh, of doing uh, these videos because uh, it's nice for people who, who haven't painted much before, if they get in this kind of trouble, like I'm in there, to try and get out of it. There's more ways of killing a pig than cutting its throat. We, we, we'll sort it out somehow. I don't like that. So this is our undercoat. There's a lot of sand out of this place, I'll tell you. We had a smashing trip though, it, it was... We, because it, it rained, that we were supposed to have open, open top cars to take us. But because it rained, they had to rush around and find some covered in, in land rovers and stuff like that. So people didn't get wet through. Uh, we, they, were, they were really old, they were, and uh, it was, <laughs> it was interesting. Right, I'm going back to that sky, and I'm trying to sort it out. It bothers me, I can't, I can't just leave it like that. So I think what I'll do with it, uh, it, it was a rainy day. So I'm going to try and sort it out another way. That this is this is how winds are blue. Break that line up. That awful line. too cloudy there, no, I don't know. No, I'll not. I'll, I'll try and give it another coat. is coupled this paper not to worry we'll sort it somehow I haven't thought of it yet but we'll find it mind the rocks The birds are tweeting today. I think that's the chaffinch. Like a creaky gate. That's better than what it was anyway. That that'll do. We'll leave that. That can work on the on the other bit. Right, we've got, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stay away from that for a bit and then work on this bit and then take, take the mountains in afterwards. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking on my feet as I'm going along here. Here's a number six, I'll do a number six brush. And I want to put in this, this Bedouin tent. It's, uh, it's a bit of a, a darkish brown. It's the, the burnt umber, I think. We'll, we'll do the burn, burnt umber on this one. darker inside anyway. Go down to there. So 
So you're masking out the, the, the Arabs, it's, it's, it's the same your job, isn't it? Struggling. Because these Arabs, they had white, white, uh, like, uh, what do they call them? The robes, no, white robes on them. The, the, they were the immaculate, they were. Don't know whether they were, what kind of washing machine powder they were using, but uh, it's quite, quite good. Wadi rum. I don't, I, I don't know what it means, that word, and I think it's something to do with, with water. Wadi. Wadi rum. That's the end of that, uh, like, a, like, a, like a lean to here. And there's the end of the tent, just here, like that, see. The guy ropes all in the tub, obviously. But uh, there's the, that, that's about the, the tent, is it? Yeah. I want to uh, get some more to dark onto this. It's a bit too wet just now to, to sculpture it actually. This is just I'm using a bit more, a bit more uh, burnt up, but but less water on it to get some. Pull shapes. It, as it pulls towards the 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 guy ropes, it does. It, it it tensions it, doesn't it? It makes it makes it a different pattern. There's one across here. Up there, just tension towards this corner. It'll be darker inside there because in, in, inside there it's it's uh, of course it's in shade, but I'll wait till it dries then and then put the shade in afterwards. So I'll leave that bit. This 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 uh, front thing is it's a slightly different colour. It is it was uh, more more yellowy. So I'll put, put a bit more to distinguish it from the actual tent itself. Not a lot of colour in, in this picture, by the way, folks. It's it's a bit uh, a bit sandy. But they're used to having these things like this, and it's 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 it, the, the, the tents are moving all the time. It's as I said, Bedouins means that they're, they're off, they're off, and wherever the wherever the sheep go, uh, they go, and uh, and wherever the there's there's somewhere there's a feeder and one that that's where they go to. It's it, it, it's quite interesting. Bit of rough ground there, so a bit of twiddle on it. And I'll put a bit of dark on that uh, on these falls of this. Where it's, where it's bending down. Just separated that from that. I'll leave that to take a little bit. Now, I think I'll just I'll, I'll start on some of these, these background mountains now. There was, some, there was some burnt sienna stuff in this, and, and it was uh, some of the mountains in the background are a bit paler because they're further back. So we better accommodate that first. Just some weak impression of this. 
and the light was coming from, let me see now, where was it coming from? I think it was coming from the the left on this, so, so we're going to get shadows on the right, aren't we? So let's just get this background piece in first. I might put a touch of, touch of that blue, blue in there as well. Show it back a bit. There. Right now, another mountain here. This is this is burnt sienna, by the way, folks. And there's, there's a mountain in front of this, which is quite prominent. So I'm just I'll do this a bit paler to keep down the. I don't want to uh, to clash with the foreground mountain. In fact, it, 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 I feel like it's, it's a feature mountain. This front one. There's a lot of red red stone and 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 some wonderful shapes by created by the wind of these these mountains. It's it, it's just pretty beautiful. Turn that down to the bottom there. I'll do a bit on this side now. A little, little bit of uh, this this underground colour, but folks, it's a uh, light from the left, isn't it? So some of, you, some of these front faces will be in sunshine. See if we can put some shadow bits in this. This is burnt umber. Might pinch a bit of that blue as well. That that winds of blue. That'll, that'll darken it a bit as so. well. So the light from the There's rocks and all sorts and creases on this, so I'm trying to depict some of the, the shade on it. Yeah, we're on the trip and no, and I'm, just, I'm filling this in while, while I'm, I'll talk while I'm doing it. The uh, we went on these jeeps and oh, that, this this was a saga cruise and and uh, there was a little old lady was 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 on this trip and they didn't know they were going to get in Land Rovers in the back of Land Rovers, and of course I was I was the tour guide, and uh, I had a hell of a job getting them in there. Because they're, 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 some of these, these ladies are, are quite rotund. And I finished up, <laughs> I would have pushed them in the back with, with a cheek on each, hand on each cheek on the back side, and, and in they went. And then there was some, some saying, Oh, how are we, we going to get back in again? How are we going to get out? I said, Well, we were parking on a, on a slope, then you roll out. We're having a bit of fun with them, you know, because they're, they're lovely, they're lovely ladies. And we had a good, we had a real good laugh. We did, and we we all had a packed lunch, and and I was sat with the driver of the the Land Rover, and of course in my ignorance, my uh, religious ignorance, if you like, I offered this driver a ham sandwich, and apparently they they, they don't eat ham sandwiches, so they wouldn't. Oh, whatever, 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 to upset him. And uh, he didn't. He was nice, lad. He was. He was really nice. 
so I offered him a pork pie, but but he, he still didn't want any. And uh, but he was he was a really good lad. We had to be some fun with him. And they took us to to the a spot in the desert where the uh, where the, where the table set out full of drinks and stuff like that and refreshments and it was it was placed on a hill and we, we, we the idea was we sat there until the sun went down and it was it was absolutely fabulous it was to see the sun setting over the desert the colors and that was oh unbelievable and then what to round it up at night we, we had uh, we had dinner in, in, in this tent and they had a campfire and a, and a, and a dinner they did dinner for us and, and it was a dinner and it was it was lamb and uh, the, the, the way they cooked it was it was it was fascinating because they they buried it, they had a, like a tub and they buried it with the the cage inside with the lamb inside it and, and, and buried it in the sand about I don't know how long for this two days of course that cooked it very slowly the sand and and, uh, and of course I think when the, we, we, we watched them dig it out b before we ate it and it, it was fabulous it, it, it just tender just like chicken, well, it was pork, but it, it was like lamb, so it was, but uh, it, it, was, it was really tender, I tell you, it was nice. A good experience. And uh, I remember Jackie, the, uh, the, the tour, the tour organiser from the ship now, she went with us on this one. Lovely girl, Jackie. And she said, we, 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 we're going to have a floor show as well. So I thought, well, this will be good. Anyway, what it turned out was that the, the, there was two Arabs there on two plastic chairs, because they, they, they sit on ropes, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't sit on, the, on, on chairs. And they were sat on these chairs, and, and they'd, they'd got, one was playing a, like, a, like a banjo thing, and the other one was singing. And they'd only got one tooth between them. Oh, God, talk about it. what a load of. And, they, and Jackie said, "You know, this this cabaret, as they called it, is eight hundred pound." And she said, "I'm not having this." So she went to the organizer. And uh, he he decided what they did. He compromised and gave us everybody. Free drinks all night instead of the cabaret. Well, that was that was much better because the cabaret was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. But we had a lot of fun because then we were we we were showing them around the campfire after the okey cokey. Well, I saw Carol up there, my wife, and, and she was she was having a right go. And, uh, and everybody had a good time. The the, the Arab, Arab gentleman and uh, and all the tour. I think one of the hardest things was we had a lovely meal, absolutely a lovely meal. And uh, but uh, I think one of the hardest things was the the in these tents uh, there's nothing for the the people to sit on. So that makes it quite difficult for, for well, so the saga is quite elderly people. And we, we, to, we, we got them down on rugs and we, couldn't, we had to get them back up again later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But uh, I think, I think that two, two people were, were, were quite, uh, quite quick and, and uh, grabbed these two chairs that were going. And uh, I mean, we had a good night of it. It was lovely. And I remember that more. And uh, at, back on the ship, I was having an exhibition the next day. And I thought, well, I'm sat there at the exhibition. I'll, I'll, I'll paint something. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll paint this, this woody room where we've been. 
and painted a picture similar to this and this this uh, passenger came up and said oh i like that i like that uh do, do you mind if i buy that one so i said no i don't mind at all so then i'm changing colors by the way to uh, burnt sienna and uh, i thought well i'm going to paint another one do you know i painted seven that day and every one sold it's quite interesting people are enjoying themselves you see burnt sienna folks this is burnt sienna i'm, I'm trying to bring this these rocks a bit in front of that one the creases in these rocks here And it's in front of that one. Right, we'll blend a bit of that uh, this dark into this. Light from the left. A bit dark on this side. It's... This I all, all I've done to get this colour darker by the way folks I've just put some that Windsor Blue Red shade into the burnt umber and it's taken the colour down for me See you don't need lots of colours you just, just mix the ones you've got and and, and, and utilise their, their, their blending qualities So the less colours you've got the more harmony you've got in your painting I've seen people wander around with these boxes of paints and you know there's about 50 or 60 paints in there but when they're ever going to use them I don't know because it's not, it's not easy to use a dozen Some good times on that, that on the cruise ships. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. I've seen some marvelous places. I said this this Wadi Rum. It's it's uh, Akaba, It's it's in Jordan. It's 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 a it's what it, it's it's so different. And of course, in this area, we, we went we went to a place called uh, Petra, the hidden city of Petra. Now, Petra is beautiful. That is beautiful. In fact, the the the, the Harrison Ford and that was when they filmed the, the Rides of the Raids of the Lost Ark. This the Petra was the was a place that they the, 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 it was filmed on. Quite uh, quite interesting. But on this one here on the darks. Right, I'll leave that for a bit now. We'll try and come forward a bit. So there's another colour in this one. Get some rocks here and there's some rocks down here as well. You see, we can just fill these rocks in. These are more foreground stuff. Said that I'll, I'll, I'll cut some of this out because it's a bit uh, it's a bit boring. But I think we've sorted the sky out. That that that's a better better than what it was.
might be a bit dry now, so put a bit more strata in there. Right, let's see if we can sort sort some of that, this some the, the depth of this uh, this tent inside. So I'm going to try and use the same colours, uh, the Windsor blue red shade, and perhaps some of the, the burnt sienna in there. Let's see if we can get a dark into there. I might have to use the burnt on because it's it's not dark enough. So we'll we'll go. It's hardly dark enough that. I'll use the burnt umber, which darkens it more. Just trying to depict what's what's in, in, in the in the depth of the the better intent. Imagine that there was carpets and all sorts in there to sit on. There were nice carpets as well, not only a tat. And uh, it was just a good experience. Mind this Arab's head. As it comes down, I'm going to put some water on it because we'll, we'll lose the shadow as we come down. It's not not as deep. Just clean water and break up that that line of shadow there. And I was, just, I was thinking, I was talking to one of my, my dear friends uh, yesterday, and, and uh, <coughs> it, as it's 100, we're about 100 now, and, and it's been me that's, that's chosen everything we've painted, uh, it'd be nice to hear from, from some of you to find out if there's, if there's anything you, you, you'd, you'd like to like me to paint, you know, that, 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 that you prefer of the, of the paintings we've done, do you prefer winter scenes or summer scenes or autumn scenes or seascapes or, or, or whatever, it'd be nice to to to, uh, to hear from you and, and find out what you like. And then uh, then perhaps I, I can in incorporate something in, into what you, what you what you liked. I'll put some more dark in there. Somebody's upset that bird. Yeah, well, well, whatever you, you you think. I mean, if you let me know in the in the comments at the at the end. Uh, uh, Whatever it is, you know, I'll, I'll, either, I'll either say I can't do it or, or I'll, I will try. It might be a particular technique that you like or something, and then we can develop that more. Because I, I, I just like painting, you know, so, so we can have a go at anything. A touch more. Put a bit more guidance on this thing here. This a bit more pull on that on that on that thing that's coming around here. Let's pull on this side as well. Of 
click on the top here. The tension it, it gives you that uh, that that tension gives them, them pull marks, doesn't it? On the tent, because there's a storage in at the top there, like a, a thing is sticky out like that. One on there, and one on there, which which is all, all tied up to all the ropes and stuff like that. So. Uh, so you get tension away from there, the, these these points. Right, I've got some, I've still got some guy ropes and, and things like that. I want to. Uh, this this is too nice. This sand, but I'm going to sort of uh, make it a bit more, a bit more rugged. See what kind of brush you want for this. Uh, number ten I'll do. And just in, in put in some some different colours to what we've got. This is this is burnt sienna. Did you burnt sienna in here? It was looking too nice, it was. Just sweeping it in just a Two bobble marks near the the tent in there, and just a bit right near the front. Let's just put a bit of that winds of blue in there just to bring it forward a bit. Try and put a bit of stuff in, in, in them uh, inside the inside the tent, so you can you can see what what's like in the tent as well. What is it? Something with some colour in there. That'd be nice. A bit of red. So you can put a bit of red in there inside here. There's something lurking inside that tent. It's, it's they've got all sorts. A bit of colour always helps. A bit of blue. Blue, blue, blue. It, it stops the, the, the tents being empty. Right, it's, it's, it's Arab time. Right, Arab, here we've got, I'll use my magic stuff, my magic rubber here, and we'll take off the, 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 the lines that, uh, there's, there's one here. We you not see that much, it's, it's against the light background. You'll see that one on top of there. Let's 
Um lagosto. Right, it's going to want a bit of twiddle on these to make them look like like people. So I'm, I'm going to have to use a fine brush on it. But uh, let's see how we go. Let's get us a little brush for a start. Yeah. I want to put them poles in, poles in as well. Uh, that's a fine brush, that one. But before I do that, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just pop in there's some poles here. That's holding the the tents up the uh, tent pole there, a tent pole here, here a pole, there a pole. And there's one here. Right, Arabs. Now they're white robes, these. So uh, all I'm going to do is to try and give them a give them a face. Not much I can do with it. Can give them a face. Uh, oh, the brown face, lads. They're right, right, some tanned. They can't do the okey cokey though. I'll tell you. So these are a tanned face. these two here so you can see that they're having a chat they're talking about the price of camels and that oh dear me haven't they gone up and they've got a, a red headdress which is nice which actually it's red and white little little it's got a white thing on with red. It's, it's difficult to depict on a small painting like this, but, but I'm, I'm just going to put them as, as red and leave it, I'm trying to leave a touch of the white with it as well. It's just to. I say it's, it's, not, it's not easy, but uh, as long as I'm just trying to. Faithfully represent it. Of course, a bit of shadow on there will make them, them the gowns, or they're not gowns, they're, they're robes, look uh, look a bit look a bit uh, rounded. A bit dark on there. So the light's from the left, isn't it? So we're going to get a shadow on his, his side there, and the one under his arm there. Same with this bloke here. He'll be shadow on that side. And he'll have a shadow down this piece here, down his rope, and underneath his arm. Shadow there, perhaps. Uh, I think we'll have a bit, a bit of shadow on on, uh, on on some of these these hillsides and st stuff like that, just to because it's a, 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 it turns sunny in the end and we, we we got away with it, the the weather. So I'll just put a bit of shadowy stuff on that. If I can. on here like this and someone from this tent here this pole and 
might get a touch of dark on these sides here. So on that. Here's a bit, a bit more 3D look it does when you put some shadows on it. Now I'm, I'm starting to look for things to do and I, that's the stage you know I don't like that. But uh, I thought what I thought I'd just show you with a close down a bit and see what you think. Uh, that's our, our, our picture of the of Wadi Rum in Aqaba in, in Jordan. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit different to what we've been doing usually. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe. Please subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. And I say, if you have any comments about, uh, about th things you'd like to uh, have a go at again or, 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 or certain paintings you, you, you particularly like or, 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 or would like to try something different or something similar, uh, you, you've only got to give me some comments or, or give me an email or whatever you do and, uh, and I'll, I'll try and accommodate you in your comments section, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm always open to, to, to ideas because uh, under a painting, you, 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 I'm, I'm looking for things to do and you might be able to help me. So until then, folks, it's, it's goodbye and uh, I'll see you on the next time. So goodbye, folks.